testing, one, two, testing, 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 one, two. Hello, Virgo Moon Sign people. Welcome to your Great Mother Speaks, December 2017, New Moon Reading. It is your last New Moon Reading of 2017. It is in Sagittarius Capricorn. It's on the cusp in Sidereal and in the Tropical Astrology. Now, let's get right to it. You are looking at the light and shadows. This deck is based on the lunar cycles. And so what we're talking about is what you know, you know, you know, your moon sign. So in the information box below, you're going to find out what your Western sign is, and you're going to find out what your Vedic astrology sign is. That is because we are lunar based the shadow the darkness this is where great mother resides the Holy Spirit within us our yin nature our still small voice that loving persuasion to peace voice that is always unconditionally loving and we also have the great father energy of the Sun that personality of the soul that is shining through that is our Western astrology and so your Western moon is going to be more oriented toward what your ego emotional state is what your thoughts what your beliefs are how you react to things and so for you Virgo moon people we're talking about an emotional response with this Sagittarius being in the Vedic your soul experience reacting to that in your fourth house with an emotional response in your sixth house so let's look at your soul and then we're going to talk more about how your ego is emotionally responding to it your soul based on your Vedic sidereal joitus astrology is going to give you a moon sign that is going to tell you exactly where your soul was at its incarnation in terms of how it was connecting itself karmically to the rest of the cosmos okay Vedic astrology is cosmically accurate it's astronomically ast accurate it's not ast astrologically it's astronomically and so since it is lunar based the nakshatra that we're in right now is in scorpio the end of scorpio beginning of sagittarius called mula and mula has to do with destruction this new moon for you Virgo has to do with a lot of maternal energy that either is within you as a mother or someone who is expressing mother energy or your soul is experienced some type of a tumultuous uh, situation with your own mother your birth mother or adoptive mother or someone who is like a maternal figure uh, to you or it could simply be that you are dealing with practical caregiving issues uh, you having to take care of someone um, financially or um, health wise or someone needing to take care of you there has been some type of a chasm or some type of an issue with that uh, and the soul uh, is experiencing this as um, something that it has to withstand in order to uh, preserve its life in your body okay so it's a quite a, a serious uh, type of a situation that your soul is experiencing right now in your body which is emotionally responding with fifth house energy which is where capricorn is for you virgo it is responding in a uh, more of a playful way maybe a childlike way of innocence or denial let's see what great mother is saying specifically to you about this um sagittarius capricorn new moon the last one of the year uh, which really culminates the entire year because it is the seed it is the blank slate for the coming year great mother's coming through for you virgo moon people saying that since the full moon and her message for you uh during the full moon was sensing your ego soul 
alignment. So you want to scroll back to the full moon reading just two weeks ago of a moon people and take a re-listen to that. What was she saying about your ego soul alignment? Okay, it's something that I went through this introduction. I haven't done this introduction on all the videos. Of course, Great Mother speaks to all of us. I've been uh, attuned to that for quite some time now. And so uh, for some reason, that introduction about the ego and the soul and going a little bit more in depth about the Vedic astrology and, and, and it being more soul oriented in your fourth house, this maternal energy that your soul is working through. Then we have a full moon card, which is great father energy. Okay, and so this is the light of the situation, the full illumination, which just occurred two weeks ago. And the message was for you sensing your ego soul alignment. You were doing that with regard to Ishtar. Ishtar is the Babylonian goddess of prostitution, the prostitute card. So the second chakra, the Ankh, is desire. So we think of prostitutes as desiring sex in order to make money. But in a more yin yang, great mother, father, God orientation, we as divine children of the great mother, father, God, from a soul orientation, what we know is that when we are in the physical realm, we all have to do something, give of ourselves, in exchange for survival okay we have to give something and so all of us are prostitutes there is a commodity exchange an energy exchange that takes place in order for our material needs to be met and so all of us prostitute ourselves in one way or another the only question is are we doing it in ways that honor who we are that um uh, really stand up for what we believe in and who we know ourselves to be or do we do it in a way that sells ourselves out that uh, really compromises our values and who we are that's the only question because all of us do prostitute ourselves this card is saying that for you Virgo moon people great mother is saying that you realize that something in your life has made you realize that on a deeply soul level that since this is a full moon card not only is it saying revisit that video it's also saying that this is a lot of yang energy this is saying that as you are emotionally responding to this that ego energy that sun energy that great father energy that capricorn new moon energy your your uh fifth house response is more one of a playful response to this and so maybe the way that you are exchanging your energy is really fun for you maybe the way that you're caring for people you're really enjoying it and so uh, what may be perceived as, um, you know, destruction or as a problem with communication with, mo with mother or uh, a painful experience, you have turned it around to be something useful in your life. You have used that Virgo ability to balance your life in a way that your desires are being met. And so you have come to an ego soul alignment in such a way that you are at least meeting this new moon with an exchange of yourself and who you are in positive and uplifting ways that reflect your true values, what you know, you know, you know. And Great Mother is saying that that has to do with the transformative opportunity of resurrection. You are in a process of rebirthing yourself. And so um, maybe 2017 has been a year where these issues of um, soul experience deeply getting uh, grounded in practical care of self and others, that maternal energy, but your ego, see we have a half card here with resurrection, that third quarter moon card, has been doing a lot of forgiving. It's been doing a lot of releasing because we have the double yang single yin card. So that means there's been double action and single intuitive experience. And so this is soul experience, the yin, the great mother energy and the great father energy, the yang, you have two of those. And so you have two in terms of emotional response. So the emotional response with this moon phase of release and letting go, you have been doing a lot, doing a lot, acting a lot, um, being very, um, 
consciously aware of forgiving people, situations, releasing old baggage. You have the fifth chakra in the middle, which is we remember by the ear, nose and throat doctor, don't we? Because we listen. And so you've been listening to some things that have allowed you to process what you need to in order to live by the law of destiny and free will. You have been aligning yourself with your destiny this year, 2017 Virgo Moon people. And you have been speaking your truths you have been speaking forgiveness, release, and letting go so that you can really assert and live your true values and exchange your energy with people and in situations in ways that feel good to you in playful ways to your soul. Even though your soul is dealing with some karmic issues that have to do with maternal issues and may be emotionally taxing, may be having some highs and lows. Okay. Um, this Mula new moon has, you know, um, issues dealing with groundedness. It has issues dealing with you actually wanting to get to the bottom of things. These are challenging issues, but for some reason, because you are resurrecting with forgiveness, we always talk about how forgiveness opens up energy for us to live our lives and be free and lighter. Well, Great Mother doesn't want you to overlook. That is exactly, exactly what you're doing and what you have done. This is the Eshel card, the Mayan goddess of fertility and of lunar cycles. This particular lunar cycle is the waxing gibbous moon. This is the moon phase right before the full moon, right before it goes into that full moon phase. And it's revising editing, um, you know, uh, reevaluating where you are. And so that reevaluating process, we see this card is majority light. Okay. It's going again into that. It's starting to go into that full moon energy. Okay. This is right before the full moon. So right before you got to this place right now where you're feeling pretty sure of yourself and giving of yourself in productive and loving ways, you uh, were reevaluating it and you were, um, healing yourself from the opinions of others, maybe guilt trips that were being put on you by other people about what are you doing and why are you doing this and what are you talking about? Because you were, you know, transforming yourself and rebirthing yourself through expressing your forgiveness and being very clear about, you know, uh, your destiny and your free will and asserting that. And so maybe there was some kind of, um, no kickback with that, but your desire stays strong as we see with the Ankh, which represents the second chakra in this deck and you connect it to people again in very genuine ways. And so great mother doesn't want you to overlook that. She doesn't want you to overlook that you were able to work through that. You trusted yourself and you worked through that self doubt. There may still be a bit of self doubt because you may not have recognized that yet, which is why she's coming through Virgo moon people and she's saying recognize that you have done a lot of self healing work so don't doubt yourself you know if any doubt comes to your mind remember the work of Byron Katie and ask yourself the four questions whenever self doubt comes turn it into self questioning this is a first quarter moon card what does that mean face the challenge it means face it, make a decision and take action. And so what's the action to honor that desire Virgo moon people, the work of Byron Katie, you can look it up right here on YouTube, Byron Katie, spelled with the K, the four questions. Whenever we experience any pain, thought, any judgment or condemnation or anything that makes us feel bad, it could be, uh, for some of us that there actually is an issue of prostitution related to a maternal relationship and how we're exchanging our energy in order to take care of other people. Sometimes in order to do that, we have to sell ourselves out or we feel like we do, you know, but it's not true. We are divine children of the great mother, father, God. And so you have a right to resurrect yourself as well. If you haven't quite arrived there yet, Virgo moon people, some of you. And what great mother is saying is that whatever remaining self-doubt you have, First, ask yourself, is this thought that's causing me to doubt myself? What is that thought? Is it true that I'm not good enough? That no one is going to hire me to do what I really want to do? It's going to be too hard for me to find out. Is it true? Second question, 
Do you know that to be absolutely true? That no one would hire you to do what you absolutely love? That you're not good enough? Do you know that to be absolutely true? Third question, what would you be without that thought? Who would you be without that thought that you're not good enough? That no one would hire you to do what you love to do? Where would you be? What would your life be like? And finally, turn the thought a lot around, reverse it. What is the opposite thought of I'm not good enough? I am good enough. They're not good enough for me. You see? And so it's all about changing what our thoughts are, changing how we are emotionally responding to the light that comes through in our lives. Because the light of the situation, the reality is, we do have to exchange energy to survive. But Virgo knows that we do that in a way that we balance our life in healthy ways in order to sustain healthy relationships. And so for this Sagittarius Capricorn new moon, great mother is coming through for you. And she's saying that you are the self healer and that you are completely capable of sharing yourself based on your soul experience and emotionally healthy ways. Thanks so much for watching Virgo moon people. And remember great mother loves you. And I do too. Great mother speaks. I am Great Mother, Holy Spirit, Yin, Divine Mother, Cosmic Moon, Deep Space, the Moon.